Hey everybody, this is Jason Akers again with Green Acres Pest Control, and I'm in Walmart. I am going to look, if I can find it, see if I can find something that you guys can get to eliminate bed bugs yourself at home from Walmart. Just thought I'd do it. I'm here getting my uh, tire fixed. Just thought I'd try to find, I need to find the stuff somewhere. Oh, uh, this one's kind of, where is a bug killer anyway? I think it's over in the garden center, maybe. Hmm. Uh, let's see if I can find it. Um, here's the bikes. Kids like to go here, you know, all the toys. I usually like to take my kids over to the toy section and let them look at the toys and stuff they got. Let's see. It usually always is insecticide things like that it's usually at the garden center where they keep their granules and you know outdoor pest stuff so let's see what they got <clears throat> aha here we go all right let's go ahead and switch the camera around and talk about what we see all right so these are the first few things you see when you get to the Home Depot. Well, Home Depot, Walmart, whatever. So these are all the different chemicals you could buy. Now you go to the bed bug killer. Let's see. Ooh, bed bug and flea. Those aren't gonna be any good. And I know this because uh, the bugs are mostly immune to all of those pesticides. And this is some natural crap. Cinnamon oil, castor oil, clove oil. Don't waste your money. Ah, uh, bed bug killer, hot shot. There's a name that people know, just like Raid. Mm, no, that's not gonna be any good either. So let's see, well, what about a fogger? I think the fogger's gonna work. Mm, that's just pyrethrins. See the pyrethrin right there? Bed bugs are mostly immune to that. Most all foggers have pyrethrins in it. These are synthetic pyrethroids. Bed bugs are mostly immune to those as well. Let's see, this one claims to kill their eggs too. Uh, that's cypromethrin. That's what was also in the fogger right there. Bed bugs are immune to that stuff. Well, how about DE? Now, see how it's got silicon dioxide in it? You don't want that. You don't want to breathe that stuff in. This stuff's not any good for you. Here's another one. Also silica. That's, uh, supposedly bed bug killer. You're only gonna hurt yourself if you use that stuff in your home. We got um, bed bug kill, also cypromethrin. Another thing they're immune to. Something they're actually immune to. All this stuff, they're immune to all this stuff. Uh, Delta methrin's in this one. They're all crap, honestly. I don't see anything here on the shelf that you can use yourself. Here's a little spray bottle here. It's still too. So, and here's the ortho home defense. This is also just oils. And that's not gonna work. Honestly, it will not work. So you see the problem with this do-it-yourself bed bug thing that people have started doing. Everybody thinks they can kill bed bugs on their own. But the problem is you've got all these gimmicks and they're honestly just gimmicks. They don't work. They're not successful. If you want to know what successful uh, bed bug treatments entail, watch a few of my other videos. I've got lots of videos out there. I'll try to link as many as I can in the end cards on this video. And also go down below and look at my description 
I've written a book on how to get rid of bed bugs. Uh, there's, it's, it's, but you don't have to read that. You don't have to get that. You could just watch my videos. Everything I do is in my videos for free. Um, if you're interested, uh, I do have some Amazon links below too to actual places you can get chemicals to do yourself. Uh, so hopefully this has been a bit of an eye opener to explain that don't go to Walmart, buy your bed bug killer. Nothing on the shelf is going to work. Uh, hopefully this has been helpful to you guys. If you like the video, think about subscribing to my channel. Pass it around to your friends on social media. Hopefully we can get something decent on the shelf at Walmart. Y'all have a great day. Appreciate it. Thanks.